When it comes to writing sentences, it's important to know the basics so that you can avoid errors in your writing. One important building block for creating super sentences is the main clause. A main clause is also called an independent clause, and that's because it can stand on its own as a complete sentence. In order to be a main clause, it has to have a subject and a verb. A verb expresses an action like jump, bark, or study, and the subject is the who or what that performs the action. Let's look at an example. Aliens love dabbing in the moonlight. Here the verb or action word is love. The subject, or the who that is taking the action, is the aliens, and they love dabbing even though it went out of style years ago. Here's another example. The seals sing a mournful song at sunset. In this case, the action is sing, and the seals are the subject. The only question left is, why are the seals so sad? Remember this fact, every sentence must have a main clause. Otherwise, it's a writing error called a fragment. Let's practice. Read each of the following sentences and identify the subject and the verb. During the lightning storm, Janice hid under a picnic table. The elephant's trunk is cracked and dry. Rodney's bedroom stinks of rotting cabbages. The hot air balloon crashed into a telephone pole. In the first sentence, the subject is Janice. And what is she doing? She's hiding. Sentence two is a little tricky because here we have a linking verb. A linking verb is a kind of verb that doesn't express an action, but links the subject to a phrase that identifies or describes it. In this case, the linking verb is, is, and it's linking the subject of the elephant's trunk to the description that it is cracked and dry. In the third sentence, the subject is Rodney's bedroom, and the verb is stinks. In the last sentence, the subject is the hot air balloon, and unfortunately, the verb here is crashed. So how did you do? Were you able to identify each subject and verb? Like anything else, the best way to master the main clause is through practice. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about English and language arts, hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to read fun grammar comics, head on over to superela.com.